two weeks after demonstrations at the Glendale Unified School District office broke out in violence, activists are once again gathering for the final board meeting of the year. Eyewitness News reporter Shayla Girardin is live in Glendale with the latest on the situation there. Shayla? Yes, the situation has really escalated in just the past hour alone. I'm sure you guys can hear the chanting, the shouting out here, but take a look behind me. This really says all of it. You can see these barriers in place, but not only this, uh, uh, police out here have put up these wire barriers uh, trying to contain the situation right behind them. All of these protesters, community members, parents out here again chanting, holding signs, and I want to show you guys an aerial look from Air 7. You can just see how many folks Folks are out here again. We've seen uh, dozens of folks show up just the last hour alone. And meanwhile, inside the building, the meeting is continuing with public comment going on right now. Here's a listen inside. Everyone has a right to their opinion, but no one has a right to threaten, bully, harass another person, and absolutely no one has a right to incite violence. And I'm asking everyone in our community and everyone attending these board meetings to de-escalate the angry, the angry rhetoric and the violent behavior. That was the president of the Glendale Unified School District Board of Education calling on the community to come together. Meanwhile, outside of the building, dozens of parents, protesters, and police are all gathered. This is the first time the board has met since violence erupted outside a meeting earlier this month on June 6. During that meeting, the board adopted a resolution recognizing June as Pride Month and a fight broke out outside. But there is no LGBTQ issues on the agenda tonight, and public comment is already underway with people speaking on the topic. And in, in anticipation this afternoon, parents and protesters have been lined up outside the building for hours, some holding signs and even chanting. I support our kids, however they come. I'm not okay with these groups coming to our community and saying and getting involved in our schools. Every kid has a right to be themselves in school. It, this is about the, just protecting the children, that's it. People, adults can do whatever they want, but the children, they need somebody to protect them. They, they, they're not ready to make the right choices at that time, especially when it comes down to sex. Dozens of police officers arrived hours before the meeting, establishing a perimeter around the building. The, Gl the Glendale Police Department released a statement earlier saying they were aware of planned protests leading up to the board meeting LGBT and that rights, violence LGBT will not rights, be tolerated. Rights, we're going to take an aerial view right now. You know what? It's getting pretty tense. Um, I think I'm going to toss things back to you guys. Shayla, thank you for that report. Yeah, we'll watch it from here and from Air 7. Obviously, a very heated situation going on in Glendale right now. We'll keep you posted. Thank you for that report. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.